All right, folks. I, this is the uh, third video blog of the steam articulated aero flyer. I got the rocket stove all cut up and stripped. That was the hardest part. Boy, I've been spending days on this thing. Very dusty job. Uh, didn't weld it together yet, but I got all the parts done, as you can see. Here's the feeder tube. There's the, uh, the ash tube there, and there's the stack, okay, and here's the, the exhaust where I'll be putting in the boiler tank. That boiler tank will hang from in here. I'll have some uh, bolts uh, that will hold it. I'll weld some, some, uh, some nuts onto, onto that thing, and then I'll... Uh, get the bolts put some holes in here and hang it through here then I'll have a uh, uh, an additional stack aluminum stack for uh, uh, to pull air and the or, or draft the fire and uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, finishing this up I just got a couple of details to finish uh, cutting and and uh, and grinding but <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to welding this in the next couple of days, taking it outside and seeing how it works. And then the next test would be to see how this tank works. Uh, put some water in there and then fit it inside the stack here and seeing if water actually boils. I imagine it's going to take about, this is a lot of metal. This is pretty thick stuff. This is pretty heavy. Yeah. And uh, it's from a Coke machine or something. But anyway, it's pretty thick. And it's going to take a while to, uh, to boil. But once it's hot, it should stay nice and hot with the uh, fire underneath it. And as I add water into it to run the steam engine, should be able to maintain some of the uh, the mass should be able to maintain some of the heat while I pump water in ever so slowly and I got a fire underneath it'll give me some steam and hopefully it'll be part one but anyway folks this is uh, this is where I am I'm looking forward to uh, getting this thing up and running and hopefully the the next video will show that so uh, Till next time.